you get in yesterday when Evan Neal went out? What was that like, and, and what did you take away from those reps? Um, you know, it's kind of having that next man up mentality, always being ready, um, and, uh, you know, always, you know, uh, making sure I capitalize those opportunities to be with the ones, uh, make sure, it's, you know, uh, the attention to details is that much more um, defined. And, uh, yeah, just, you know, playing with my guys. Kim Jones. Hey, Matt, how you, whoops. Hey, Matt, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah. How do you think your game has changed um, over time? I mean, you know, maybe not the whole time you've been here, but, but maybe under this coaching staff and, and the opportunities that you have you know, especially with Neil at the moment. Um, so with OG, he's a he's a stickler for the details. So um, really, just being a second year under him, understanding what he wants and respect to what the defense gives us is um, you know it's 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 awesome being a, a second year underneath underneath uh, OG. So I feel like my skills from that standpoint of uh, I'll be able to grow and um, be able to like you know attack each day. Um, and uh, what was the second part of your question? Sorry, I forgot that. Just the idea, like you've grown over over your time here. Yeah, you know, yeah. Maybe not going back to the very beginning, but, I got but you. it seems like under this coaching staff, a lot of guys have have made some improvements. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, dang, it's kind of crazy when you think about it. Four years, <laughs> it's kind of full vibe. But yeah, like I said, just being on the OG second year and understanding what he wants in respect to the looks. This is, uh, you know, it's been uh, great to be under his coaching and um, definitely be able to like fine tune my skills and refine them. Can I show that I'm really not cool or, or into the nicknames? I'm not sure who OG is. Oh, <laughs> uh, Coach Johnson. Oh, that's what you call Bobby Johnson? Yeah. <laughs> Did I ask what the O stands for? It's OG Bobby Johnson. <laughs> okay. All right. I got you. Thank you. <laughs> I told you I was uncool. <laughs> nah, that's all good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Thank you. Andrew Crane. Uh, hey, Matt, uh, I'm curious, how, how is this training camp and maybe just this offseason in general uh, maybe a little bit different from last year when you are you were kind of recovering from the ACL and um, what maybe day to day and just uh, in general, how, how is this a little bit different? Um, you know, mentality has always been the same. It's to get better each and every day. Uh, when I was rehabbing with my ACL last year, we were just making sure that I was able to do better than the last day and uh, make sure that I was able just to grow. And having that same mentality carrying to the off-season OTAs now to training camp is the same mentality. Just, you know, make sure I just focus on the plays um, and uh, making sure that I have good plays, not good days, because, you know, that will speak for itself at the end of the day. So just making sure I just have that same mentality of always having the mindset of always being willing to grow. And obviously your, your ability to play on both sides of the line has helped you in college, helped you in the, the pros. Um, what? What maybe about your skill set, or, or what have you maybe learned over time about playing on, you know, the left side versus the right side, and, and what are some of the differences that you know maybe you've had to uh, kind of improve at or just learn over time as you got to the pros? Uh, for me, I just try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, you know, uh, being able to flip your feet is something that um, you uh, you know takes uh, time. You have to like you know uh, put the work in to really like fine tune or find the skills because. Um, they're both different monsters and different ends, so you have to understand what comes with both. So I just try to keep it as simple as possible um, and just try to make sure that uh, whenever my number is called, I'm ready for whatever side. And then uh, last one, does, does this uh, maybe opportunity with, with Evan out, this chance with the ones, or just this training camp in general feel a little bit more important just given you know this point in your career where you are contract-wise? Um, does this opportunity kind of feel a little bit more important, or, or do you feel a little bit more pressure to, to kind of you know, impress the coaching staff, kind of uh, make your mark this training camp? Um, I mean, I take every rep, um, you know, as if it's like the defining rep. I feel like, you know, being able to play with the ones is a great opportunity, but if I'm with the twos and threes, I make sure that every rep that I get, I make sure I showcase my skills and put my best foot forward all the time. Thank you, Matt. No problem, buddy. We'll take three more questions. Next is Tom Canavan. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, Matt. Um, I was going to ask, I, in my generation, OG meant old guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you weren't fibbing to us, were you? Uh, no, nah, no. Nah. I mean, I guess my generation means original gangster. But <laughs> 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 <So>. <laughs> um, I, I was going to ask something along Andrew's lines. 
in year four, does it, does it feel like a make or break year? Um, I mean, coming into this year, just having the mentality is always getting better. Um, you know, year four, year three, year two, year one is always the same. Um, make sure I always put my best foot forward um, and showcase that, you know, um, my skill set and uh, what I'm able to do on the field. Yeah, because you always wonder when they, they draft two tackles uh, that high, you wonder, do I still fit in? I mean, do you have to – was that ever something you concerned yourself with or you just look at yourself? Nah, I just kept it to myself and I uh, just try to control what I can control. And, um, you know, like I said, like, just always making sure that, you know, every rep that I take, make sure I put, showcase um, my best foot forward every single time and just always having that mentality of staying ready. Thank you. Last one, Charlotte Carroll. Hey, sorry, this cut out for me a little bit, so apologies if this was already asked, but what feedback did you get from OG yesterday after you took those first team reps? Um, feedback, I mean, he's kind of, like I said, he's a very stickler to the details. So, you know, with OG, he likes, um, you know, uh, certain footworks for certain plays and uh, just making sure that, you know, when it, whenever, whatever, whenever, whichever respective play came up, just to make sure that my uh, attention to details was that sharp.